What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Sean McLovin, and we still got an introduction. And for this segment, we're gonna be playing all around the world. I don't want this to be super long, but we're gonna be playing all around. Dang, I'm dark. We're gonna be playing all around the world for winner gets a pair of shoes, and we about to see who about to win. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, I see you. Oh, trash. They're gonna shop and make love in. Yeah, but you're not even right there. You're right there. You're trying to cheat and shit. I gotta win, cause I don't wanna buy nobody no shoes. You ain't gotta buy me no shoes, my buddy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! 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 They popping on. Oh, I'm getting bit up. Okay, so I want this video. You got me? Yeah. You got me? Yeah. I want this video to be extra long. So I'm going to zoom it in to like more further towards the end of it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Sean McLovin, and I'm back. It's been two weeks. I've seen it's been two weeks, and I'm back. You see the previous videos? Those previous videos were supposed to be a video, but obviously that was the 4th of July, and we started popping firecrackers and stuff like that. And then when we tried to get back to the game, it started to get serious, because I wasn't trying to buy nobody no sneakers. So it started to get serious, and we had to cut the camera off, because I was, ugh. Kobe, couldn't nobody know. It started to get serious. But today's discussion of the video is Is this the greatest sneaker of all time? So I have I have I have boom a Nike Air Force One box. Nike Air Force One. And you know what these is? Everybody named Mama that had them. Is this the greatest sneaker of all time? This has got to be the freshest sneaker of all time. The only thing that can possibly happen to this sneaker is it can get creased. And it can only get creased if you let it get creased because I wear force fields in my forces so they don't get creased, but other people walk like penguins for some reason. And this is a fresh sneaker. You want to know why it's so, like, why it's arguably the best sneaker of all time. But let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. This is, like, one of the greatest sneakers of all time. The best sneaker of all time because it's, look at it. Just look at it. People try so hard. They buy this shoe over and over and over for the price point of $90. That's, that's two, that's two geek. Then if smaller feet for, like, $70. Okay, so people buy this shoe over and over and over and over. And when you think about it, you're buying it over and over. And when you get it, you walk like a penguin. You don't try to step in nothing. You don't try to get them scuffed up. You try to keep this sneak, this all white cocaine G Fazo. You try to keep them as clean as possible. And you're knowing in your head, you're knowing in your head that the shoe's gonna get messed up at some point. My shoe's gonna get messed up, but. The shoe's gonna get spray some crap tech on. The shoe's gonna get messed up at one point, but you know, later on in life, you're gonna buy another pair. Not because your feet. Most of most of most of y'all, my subscriber count is mostly like most of y'all like 17, 18. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You've had more than one of these in your life. If you didn't have it, you seen your friend have it, your mom or your dad, your brothers, everybody has had this shoe. At least two, three times. Me, I wear my, sh I wear these like, I wear these like, say about three times, three or four times. I pass them down, or I sell them for a low price, and then I get another pair because they're so cheap. My sneaker collection started off with this shoe in 20. Oh, 
I started my sneaker collection off in 2015, basically, 2015. But I didn't get serious till 2017 when I started to get money. This shoe right here is the greatest shoe of all time because it goes with everything. I've seen people wear it to prom, weddings, funerals. I wore, I wore, I ain't, don't laugh at me. I wore a black pair of these to my eighth grade graduation. <laughs> This shoe is the greatest shoe of all time. You want to know why again? Do you want to know why this is the greatest shoe of all time? Okay, so this shoe is the greatest shoe of all time because you know how everybody has their favorite retro. Everybody has their favorite Nike and everybody have their favorite like silhouette of any type of thing. But like this shoe, no one hates this shoe. You can never go wrong with this shoe and everyone knows that. This shoe can go with any and everything. All white. How could you go wrong with all white? And look at it. This is a this is a natural casual uh, natural casual sneaker. Kevin Durant played basketball in these. Like how can you go wrong with some all white G Fazos? And my I call them all white Unos. These this is has to be the greatest shoe of all time. And. If you are, if you're willing to argue what your what your thought or opinion of greatest shoe of all time is, your greatest sneaker of all time is, go ahead and try to comment something. Cause I will argue back because I know for a fact this is the greatest shoe of all time. Cause you can't go wrong with this. Look at it. Look at it. We can argue back and forth, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna persuade you that this is the greatest shoe of all time. So with that being said, go ahead, go get y'all a pair, cause. You can't never go wrong with a you can't go wrong with a sneaker like that. You really can't. And we have 193 subscribers. We almost said 200. We really almost said 200. <laughs> hey, it's really it's really busting. Like I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. We almost said 200. So go ahead and run them sub sub counts up so somebody can get some beats. Cause we got big things coming soon. I right, big loving out. Oh, 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 oh,